and gentlemen, fellow decoder around the world, wherever you may be, my name is Logan, your tour guide, and this is Decoder Reality. And today we have a decoding quickie on the topic, the matrix red decoded. So let's hop right into this, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a preview. I am going to be releasing the full version on my Patreon in just a few days. So if you're interested in getting the extended presentation for this, check out the Patreon page. Appreciate all the love and support for all of you that are on the Patreon thus far. Got a lot of amazing material on there, et cetera, et cetera. So let's jump into this, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna start with the red pill that Neo chose in the movie, The Matrix. I watched this again just over the weekend and got more nuggets again with a fresh set of eyes. And oh boy, I can't wait to share this information. Ready to rock you. I'm, gonna, I'm ready to blow your mind. Here we go. Why the red pill? Well, I'm going to first start with the matrix. This is, we're going to be using Chaldean numerology. Once again, the king of all ciphers. I'm going to show you and support that. Once again, why this is such a beautiful standalone cipher, the oldest numerology cipher on the planet. The matrix giving us that 31, 31 can reduce down to the four. There's gonna give you a subtle 3.14 because that's what the matrix is. It's pi, you're entering pi, okay? But the 31, where do we go with that? And how does it tie into the red pill? Well, we're gonna bring the 31 into mathematics and you can clearly see that the 31 is a very big deal because it's the 11th prime number. These prime numbers are standalone numbers. Okay, and you can use the prime cipher. I've already, you know, done many of decodes on using the prime cipher exclusively to get the truth through that. But keeping your eyes to the right of that 31 11th prime number mathematic uh, expression there, there we have the red pill. Bam, there it is. Okay, so the matrix being 31, it being a prime number, the 11th, and then red being the 11, you can now see the tightness of how Chaldean numerology works with the mainstream and mathematics, okay? But now I wanna get an extended layer onto this and we're gonna move it into the digits of mathematics and pi. I'm gonna be using the 3.144 pi. Big shout out to Jane 108. You know, in his book, exclusively narrating the 3.144 pi. And I'm gonna start off with the number 31. So we're gonna backtrack from the red being 11 being tied to the 31, we're going to go all the way back to the matrix. And when you enter the matrix, you enter pi. Pi is the perfect circle that represents Earth. Okay? And the 31 is at digit 16 and 17. That's going to give you a total of 33. This is going to give you a total. All these digits here, all 17 digits, are going to give you a total of 60. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we bring in now another layer. So we have four layers here now. Numerology, mathematics, Pi and now alchemy, and there is the, the, the one, Neo, going down into the matrix as he takes the red pill. There it is, Neodymium, okay? I already showed his, his, uh, his Keanu Charles Reeves, his uh, alchemology becomes 143, which is a uh, isotope of Neodymium, okay? So he becomes the one there, and you know, we have to go 17 digits to get that number 31 in the outcome. And that's very interesting because the word matrix is 17, which also matches the word Neo. How about that, folks? Undeniable with this coat. It's just so fascinating here. So what about the number 11? He did take the red pill. So let's do the measurements of the 11 through the string of pi. And let's see what the outcome is of that. What does that have to say for its truth? We got to go 10 digits in, 10 being the binary system. We're going to come back to that. Nine and 10, ninth and 10 digits gives us a total of 30. And this 30 is a big deal because in order to enter the matrix, you're entering the domain 
of the Demiurge. Okay, you're entering the domain of the Demiurge, the yod heh vah Okay, this is also tied to Lucifer, the light bringer, the movie. Phosphorus having 30 as its isotope, 30 being tied to the sun of the morning, if you watched my previous decode on the 222, okay? All one and the same, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's a big Ponzi scheme, all right? And then the 30 extends upon the medicine deck. Jamie Sams, these Native Americans that make these cards, I mean, they're not sitting down at these layers of coding, folks. They're de mankind's being used. You can become aware of the code, but mankind's being used to deliver the code. This is the comedy. Knock, knock, Neil, follow the white rabbit. Okay. And of course, it's tied to the moon. This is the comedy. Santa Claus being 30. What color does Santa Claus wear? Primarily red. Okay. And what does Santa Claus do? Goes down the chimney. What did Neo do? Gets plugged in, goes down into the matrix. Okay. See how beautiful this is? This is why it's just all a big Ponzi scheme, folks. This is the source code playing out right here. So why the zero and the one? We had to go 10 digits in to find that number 11. <coughs> Notice that, you know, the 10th digit itself was the one, and that's Neo. One is an anagram for Neo, okay? So we had to go 10. So why the zero and the one? Because when you enter into the matrix, you enter into a computer code, and that just may be what we're in, ladies and gentlemen, is a computer simulation. And it's the binary number, the zeros and the ones. And that's where you're going to get the tie into the rabbit and chasing time. Okay. Time is 14, 3.14. Okay. And then when you enter into the binary system to be a character down here in this reality, you now are the hangman. This is the 12th card in the deck. Okay. The zero and the one. All right, you enter the zero and now you become the one. You move these together, you get the golden ratio. And this is what it looks like from the tarot. When we say zero and one, it's going to give us the 21. The word enter is 21. You enter the binary, the zero, the world. You're under the guise of the Stargate, which is the astrological chart, the great beast above. And then you enter in to become a star. And you get the one, Neo, 17. See, the word yod heh is 17. So the yod heh is you're under the guise of that through this context here. And I have a lot of big decodes coming out on the Patreon, ladies and gentlemen, to support this material further. I got the dead rabbit coming out. And I also have this one really, really, really big uh, called Original Sin. We're going to blend in the Matrix with Alice in Wonderland. And how these stories completely that's why they used the song uh the white rabbit from jefferson airplane in matrix four okay all and i have the the men the tie-ins are going to be absolutely insane on my patreon coming soon ladies and gentlemen these two big decodes well that's it ladies and gentlemen the end decoding quickies real short appreciate each and every one of you sending you a ton of love for mexico until next time ladies and gentlemen we will see you later